everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices around two minutes. Today, I'm going to show you two different methods you're able to use if you have any type of issues after you update your Samsung phone. Now, this first one is one that's more isolated. If you notice that either your camera or messages or really any other application on your phone happens to have issues, all you'd have to do is press and hold on that application. Go inside of that app info, and I want you to force stop the application. Now, once you're done with that one, head right inside of storage and inside of storage, this is where you want to clear the cache and clear the data. Now, all this is really going to do is reset all the settings. It's going to put it right back to factory. You know, if you have maybe let's say your messages or a gallery, it will not delete any of your content. It won't delete any messages, will not delete any images, but really it's just going to re-put this thing right back into factory mode. Now, if you notice that your issues is a little bit more widespread, or maybe you did this and it didn't really help that application, or maybe you're also noticing a battery drain after an update. So all you'd wanna do is turn off your phone and put it into the little restart option. Now, as your phone is restarting, press and hold on volume up as well as power. Now, once it actually turns on, you'll actually see the screen turn on, you're gonna let go of the power button, but keep your finger on the volume up. So all this is gonna do is put it into a mode where you're able to do clear cache partition, system reboot, a whole bunch of different options. But the one that you're gonna look for is where it says clear cache partition. Now you use your volume keys to go up and also go down. The power button is the select. Now once you go down to wipe cache partition, you hit on the power button. And once you choose wipe cache partition, you select down for the yes and then you hit on the power button as the select. Now, once it cleared that cache partition, just reboot your phone. Now, again, this will not delete anything on your phone other than just that grime and muck and floating data that's just in that little, you know, zone in between each of these little updates. It's kind of uh, just inside of a void. So it's a way that you're able to get rid of all that extra stuff sitting in your phone. You actually just deleted it and then now your phone is gonna run like normal. Now, if you did both of these steps and you still have issues, the very last resort is then finally factory data reset. Just make sure that your phone is backed up with Google and everything else. You know, a lot of people think that they have to do a factory data reset right away. Really, all you gotta do is just clear the cache, clear the data and force stop that particular app that's giving you the issue. If it happens to be more than one application and maybe a battery drain, do your clear cache partition. Uh, and then if none of that works, then you can do a factory data reset. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hand subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. I got tons of soul on my true collective ball. Famous, also famous, number one, desirable. Out of what I want, when I want, and how I want it.